In this episode, we take a look at a Halo channel who does a lot of things right and does one thing so horribly wrong. Hello everyone, my name is Adam Reeples Vox and welcome to a new video series here by me on the Freedom Central channel. This is doesn't really have a formal title because it's not really necessary. This show is going to be about reviewing your channels and giving you direct actionable feedback on how you can improve your videos and create better content, improve your channel, and a lot of the stuff that I talk about over in the Freedom Academy project, but this is going to be on a more direct case study level. While the people over on in the Freedom Headquarters are working hard to actually get the full formal Freedom Academy up and ready, this is going to be the more down and dirty, directly do this, don't do this, things to look out for kind of information. So hopefully it's useful for you guys and it's going to be kind of like a companion to the Freedom Academy itself. If you don't know what Freedom Academy is, it's a project that I designed for Freedom to help you learn everything you need to know pretty much about growing your channel, growing your audience, growing a social media platform, a YouTube channel, best practices for growing on YouTube, and it's coming very soon. We do have a beta up in the Freedom Dashboard if you want to check that out, but otherwise, we're going to take a look at our first channel here today. This is a pilot episode, and it's kind of a two-part pilot because there's going to be a couple different kinds of episodes that I'm doing here, and so in this first episode, we're doing the more standard formal channel review, but in the next episode, we're actually going to be doing a video where it has a little bit more of something different. So make sure you stay tuned for episode two before casting your final judgment, but I will be open to any and all feedback in the comment section down below. Let's get started. Today we're taking a look at a freedom partner by the handle Legundo. He's a buddy of mine that I've actually kind of coached along with the Freedom Academy stuff a little bit to get going here. He runs a primary Halo focused channel, but he also posts content from Overwatch, The Division. He's doing currently doing a live stream here of No Man's Sky, and he's done a couple videos on uh, Pokemon Go as well. But it's basically just a gaming channel with a very hard spine of Halo 5. And we're going to be taking a look at his channel and some things he could be doing better here in today's video. And I'm going to go ahead and go full screen so you don't have to view all the other stuff here about my computer. In this series and on this channel here, I'm going to be as blunt as possible, as direct, actionable, this is what you do. So it may be a little bit jarring for some of you who are used to just kind of like casual off, you know, offhand suggestions. I'm going to say what's right and what's wrong about the channel. Now, if you go to his about section, he actually has a decent about section compared to most of the channels that I've been taking a look at here over the past few months. Uh, it's not the longest. He could use by having a little bit more information in there, but he has the words that describe what he's doing, the games he's playing, a schedule, and an estimated upload time, as well as some of his top series. And then he has a little call to action over here to come check out his IRL channel. And then he does have a friends and partners section here. In his link section is where I would like to see a little bit more improvement. Just a little bit of a call to action on your social media links will do a little bit to help tell people why they should be clicking those links. You also don't really need another like link to your IRL channel here because it's already over here and you're already calling it out over here. I would honestly probably use that for your Patreon or your Twitter with a direct call to action on your banner here as well. Now, taking a look at his banner, you'll notice that his branding is fairly on point, and that's something that I've always been very impressed by his channel so far um, with, is that his branding is direct, it's on point, and it caters to exactly what he's doing. It carries over in his avatar, his banner, and as well as his in-video graphics as well turning my volume down here. You'll see he has custom intros. That was for his Halo stuff. He customizes his intros for the different types of types of content that he's posting, which is pretty neat. Yeah, you see there's just a general one for his like IRL content. And then he has a totally different one here for Pokemon. There we go. And he's got a custom one for that. His branding is very on point, and this is something that you could learn from, is having that strong of a consistent branding really helps convey what your channel is all about. And that's carried over here as well to his playlist. He has very strict playlists about what his series are, and you know what kind of video you're getting into by watching them. Now, this one has a description, but you'll notice that some of them do not always have a description. I think it was Tales of the Warzone doesn't have a description, and the descriptions aren't super long. Just a little SEO thing, which I'll touch on again in a minute with his channel. Uh, you can put a decent amount of characters in a playlist description, and I recommend taking advantage of all of them. Now, he is doing a live stream. One thing I did notice that I just wanted to nitpick here is he started a live stream before a video went live, 
and that just kind of confuses the sub boxes a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. But one thing you notice by looking at his series is you will notice a good balance of having different series like he has specific i believe he has specific upload days or either he tries to get at least one a week of certain series for example his halo 5 funny and lucky moments those do really really well like 6,000 views on this one 4,000 on one only just a few days ago which is great for his channel which only has 5.6 thousand subscribers and he does really well of trying to balance out what series he's uploading he did have a burst here of overwatch due to their new uh, Lucio Ball, Summer Games, Real Olympics themed uh, update, and that's actually a good idea, is he's ca he's basically cashing in on trends and tentpole programming, which is something I know Anthony's talked about quite a bit on the channel, and that's something he does a pretty good job with, because he did the whole Lucio Ball thing covering the few different aspects of it on Overwatch, but then he also did a Halo 5 Summer Olympics things to further directly relate to the Summer of Olympics with his other series. Another thing he jumped on was Pokemon Go. He did a Pokemon Battle minigame in Halo 5. Again, genius for grabbing that tent pole and finding a related video. But he also did a couple of actual Pokemon Go gameplay videos. Now something I will note here is these actually did fairly decent. I guess the 474 on the first episode wasn't great, but the We Took the White House episode did pretty well, especially compared to the videos around it other than the funny and lucky moments. I might have still done a couple more of these, especially if you can, again, jump at some weird trending thing related to, you know, what's going on in real life and connect that back to Pokemon Go. That might be something you want to hook onto if the videos are still doing well. I realize you're, the channel isn't entirely about Pokemon Go, but if something is doing well, you kind of want to keep pushing it out there. But you'll see very consistent in terms of he's got his face on a few videos every once in a while. You'll see Overwatch in Burst, Halo 5 and his funny unlucky moment series and then we'll probably see some integration of no man's sky since he's playing that as well one more positive thing i wanted to take a look at here was his use of cards this is something that not a lot of channels seem to get sometimes but really he really utilizes his cards whenever things are referenced he has links to his other videos and then he has his patreon one at the end which to me is how it should be but now let's take a look at a few things that he should be doing better because he's doing them very wrong in a couple situations here, in my opinion. Again, I don't want to be totally positive nor totally negative on either of these, and you'll see the couple different ways I'm handling the show in this episode and in the next episode, which I'll actually be filming as soon as I finish this one. So my biggest complaint, my biggest, biggest, biggest complaint with this channel is his tags, his metadata, his descriptions. His titles are like flawless, almost, in my opinion. They could use some more clickbait, but in general, like, they're pretty good but his tags and his descriptions need some serious work. So let's real quick take a look at what he could be doing better. But one thing you will notice here is I'm gonna click on tags, and yes, I am using TubeBuddy for this. I find TubeBuddy to be a fantastic YouTube extension that anyone should use. Freedom also has their Heartbeat Chrome extension as well, which I would also recommend. Using one of these extensions to get more information about videos and more tools in your tool set is definitely something you need to be doing, using all the tools available to you. Now, if we're looking at the tags here for his Halo 5 Summer Olympics, we see nothing. Okay, we, we see sort of two individual word tags about Summer Olympics. The rest are arbitrary one word or one phrase tags that aren't ever going to rank for him. One of them being HTTP for some reason, and one of them being Twitter for some reason. Nothing relating to Summer Olympics or Halo Summer Olympics map, Halo Olympics. Th these are very, very bad titles. I just... I'm like I said, I'm gonna be blunt. These are horrible or tags. These are horrible tags. The title is fine. You could, like I said, it could inject it with some more clickbait if you want, but whatever. And it's got some decent views, and the watch time's probably decent since it's only eight minutes long. It could be ranking for some stuff, but none of the tags are there. Well, first of all, Summer Olympics at all should be in there since it's in your title, and then Halo 5 Summer Olympics should be a tag as well. But one thing that I'll be harping on quite a bit throughout these videos is the order of your tags matters quite a bit. So people who put their channel name at the start of their tags, which he isn't doing here, but he's putting something about just as bad, something that you're never going to like matter for search for, basically instantly kills your SEO. And that's kind of a problem. And so for example here, his most of his tags, and especially the start ones, are tags that he's never gonna rank for. How many videos relate to Halo 5, Halo, Guardians, Master Chief, Warzone, gameplay, analysis as individual words? Those are all individual searches that essentially YouTube does and finds out where your video is. And you're never gonna rank for those. The tags should all be phrases that people are naturally gonna search for. Actual like sentences and phrases. Halo 5 Summer Olympics. Summer Olympics Halo map. Halo Olympics map. Halo 5 Summer Olympics custom map. Those kinds of things. 
and I bet he would probably start ranking for those. And actually, I can take a look at that here real quick with TubeBuddy. So we see the tags that he has, and they're all gonna say that he does not rank for them. No rank for any of these tags. Halo 5 Summer Olympics. Let's add that tag. Rank number two. So if anyone's looking for a tie-in between Halo 5 and Summer Olympics, it's right there. Halo Olympics map. Halo 5 Olympics map. Olympics Halo map. Things like that. Look, two, three, three, three. You're ranking for all of these things. These are things that people might actually be searching for. Summer Olympics in Halo 5. That sounds like a reasonable search. Number two, you're ranking for all of this stuff and they're nowhere to be found in your video or in your tags. Instead, you're tagging for things like HTTP and Twitter. Your video has nothing to do with Twitter. Your video is not going to rank for Twitter. It's going to rank for these things. Put these in your tags, please. And then same thing with your description. Your descriptions, like they're good. Like one thing that I've always liked is he always seems to, I, I switch between he and you because it's like, this is directed at him, but you're also supposed to learn from it too. I'll figure something out regarding that. But he always does a great job of linking the things that he references in here. So the videos, the blog posts, the update posts, things like that. But he only ever has like one or may, usually just like one or less than one sentence relating to what's actually in the video. Filling that up with a good paragraph or so, even if you break it up with the important links that you need people to click on, will add a lot to your SEO, especially if you incorporate Halo 5 and Summer, of Olymp uh, Summer Olympics into actual sentences within your description, it will boost your video quite a bit. And the one video that I really wanted to reference about this was your Funny Unlucky Moments series here. This is your best performing series by far. It gets thousands of views, like sometimes more than you actually have subscribers. I'm, I'm guessing these get shared like on Reddit and on Facebook groups and on Halo groups and things like that. And they're doing really, really ridiculously well. But I bet they could be doing substantially better if there was any description to be found on it, especially as long as they had Funny Unlucky Moments integrated into a couple paragraphs a couple times and if your tags at all reflected a funny and lucky moment series you've got halo 5 funny moments right there which you're ranking 15 for and then funny and lucky moments right there now you are surprisingly rating for ranking for halo 5 for this one but your standard videos are not and especially if all your videos have halo 5 and guardians and things like that in them your videos are competing with each other too so i suggest also like finding especially if you want to clickbait these up a little bit finding something specific that happens in each episode like mongoose splatter or epic mongoose splatter or surprise sticky or something like that adding that at the start of the title and integrating some of that into your tagging like get rid of luck and grunts and master chief and campaign none of these belong in your tags these are hurting your videos more than they could ever remotely help instead integrate more funny moments lucky moments uh funny moments montage hilarious montage hilarious moments those kinds of things into your video and or into your tags and you're gonna have a lot better time especially if you get a good description going there besides send your clips to me at twitter so this has been the first episode of my channel review series here we're taking a look at lagundo a halo and other multiplayer game channel here i guess no man's sky isn't multiplayer but a gaming channel here at freedom this has been my thoughts as to what he could be doing better to help his channel succeed quite a bit as well as what he's doing right that you guys could learn from and if you are bold enough if you are brave enough to have your channel criticized as bluntly as possible in front of all of freedom and you want to have a channel review and you think that you're putting in the work to get a boost in subscribers that you want to know what else you can do next that you're doing all the work that you can and you really want to know what your next step is i will have a google form link in the description below where you can submit your channel and i will check it out and we can figure out what you need to do with your channel right here on the show again stay tuned for the next episode where i show you more of actually like editing advice for the channel that I'll be taking a look at and I think it will turn out quite well. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, get subscribed to Freedom Central for more awesome YouTube help videos. Stay tuned for the next episode. If you want to see more of me, come check me out at youtube.com slash eplesvox. I'm, I'm currently make mainly technology related videos and I'll be doing some YouTube marketing stuff as well And in the meantime and I'll catch you in the next episode.